just got this back so this is a peerless um, monarch and and peerless monarchs usually come with a floating pickup but this is a set humbucker and when I got this it was slightly damaged um, right here uh, I don't know if you can see this so this is not it's not through the wood so that was like repaired but um, it came with TV Jones pickups which I did not like, so I did a lot of research and uh, 
you know, on TV drone pickups. They're kind of expensive that the pickups, whoever had this and uh but I felt it was it sounded really, really thin when I got it. And I had a set of shaler pickups that were just lying around. Um we were lying around actually as a result of my purchase of the heritage. So I guess at one point Heritage used to put shallower pickups or shallower, I don't know how to pronounce it, in the uh, in their arch tops. And then they went to Seth Lovers or other um, pickups. But in any event, the guy that owned the my Heritage H575 had swapped out shallower pickups and he gave them to me. And I always wanted to hear what they sounded like. I think Rich Severson does a video comparing the shallowers with the um, um, Seth Lovers. But nonetheless... I put them in here. I didn't put it. My tech put it in there. And they sound much, much better, at least to my ears, than they did with the TV Jones. And it wasn't so much that the TV Jones sounded bad. It just wasn't the sound I was looking for in this guitar. It had a very, very crisp high end. It was almost like, I dare say, P90-ish, uh, which I love now, especially with that Delta Guild and some guitars that I've played and all that. But um, I was looking for a nice, dark, typical PAF type sound and this is what this sounds like um, yeah and you know quite frankly I don't know if it's just a pickup but the thing plays amazing but I just got it set up like remember what I always tell you I don't care if it's a $500 guitar or $5,000 guitar get it set up and so these are set up now with Tomastic um, I think 13s are on here and it's really plays like butter I mean Now, usually, I always say this, I don't recommend that whole pickup. I call it dressing up a thing. I never recommend buying an inexpensive guitar and using that guitar as a shell and putting really expensive pickups in there. So I don't recommend buying a guitar for four or $500 and spending, I don't know, $1,000 or six, $700 buying a pickup and either, um, you know, giving it to a tech to install. If you have the skill set, so great. At the end of the day, you never will get your money back if you do it that way. The reason I did this was because I had the pickups already and I bought a lot of work to my, my, my tech and cut me a really good deal. So I kind of wanted to hear what it sounded like and I'm very, very pleased with the, the outcome. So every case is a case by case. Um, some, some guys are, are noodlers and they like to tinker and kind of play around with gear and gadgets. That's not me. Um, sounds good. I leave it that way. So, any event though, practice, practice, practice. And this is, um, yeah, another example of a guitar that you can pick up that's not uh, for a lot of money. And you can do some damage to it, meaning you can practice and get better at the craft of guitar playing. Thanks again.